What's up, everybody? It's Derek Wilson, and I'm here with Sandy Cohen. Yeah. Cohen? Yeah. Cohen, sorry, Sandy Cohen. We got the man of the hour here, Coach Wo, Wojo, Wojciechowski, whatever you prefer. So how you, how you enjoying Marquette so far? I love it. I love it here. I love everything about it. I love the community. I love Milwaukee. I love the city. I love the basketball program, the new coaches, everything about it. What is your favorite part? about Milwaukee. What's your favorite thing to do, place to eat? You know, just give me some info so the people out there. Well, there's great, first of all, there's great restaurants. Um, the summertime, which was you know, my indoctrination to this place, you know, there's, the city has an amazing buzz, you know, whether it's all the festivals down at the Summerfest grounds. Uh, the Fourth of July lasts like for 10 days. I mean, my, my kids are going nuts with the fireworks every night. Yeah. And, uh, it's a great town. It's a great town, and everybody warns me about winter, but I, I keep telling them it's 72 and sunny in the gym. What's your favorite thing about Milwaukee and Marquette? Tough question. Um, obviously, the, the, the best thing about Marquette is being around good people every single day for me, uh, from the coaching staff to the players. I, th I feel like we got really good people around us. I think Milwaukee has a lot of good restaurants. You know, I think Milwaukee's a really uh, underrated city. You know, there's a lot of stuff to do, and it's got a lot of good restaurants. I was out and about the other night, and I seen a man with a 34 Marquette jersey on. How does that feel to know that people are still wearing your jersey? That's, uh, I can't believe they are. Um, but, uh, Me neither. <laughs> <laughs> I was just joking. Derek Wilson here with my teammate, my brother from another mother, mm -hmm. Steve Taylor yes. Jr. There you go. So I have some questions for you. Okay, I'm ready. This is for my blog, by okay. the way. It's for your blog. Cheese curds or brats? Brats. As far as the city of Milwaukee, uh, the cheese curds are unbelievable. Uh, the brats are unbelievable. Uh, and, and the pretzel buns with the brats are unbelievable as well. But, uh, as you can tell, I've had too many of those. <laughs> Got my boys here. Luke Fisher and Wally, the man Ellison. How you fellas doing today? Doing great. Superb. So, you're walking on cramped campus. Walking on campus. The crosswalk says stop. And there are no cars coming. What do you do? I'm crossing. Okay. I can't wait. That's illegal. So it's we should probably like, cut that wait, one out. Though. I can't wait. Cheese curds or brats? Good answer, right? It depends on what mood I'm in. What mood I am in. Cheese curds or brats? Cheese curds. Last mood. Oh. <laughs> 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 Last mood. Cheese curds or brats? Cheese curds. What should Marquette fans and the city of Milwaukee expect from you as a basketball player when it's your time to come next year? You know, I'm going to be able to hit that open three and um, another part of my game is just that hustle play, getting the loose ball or getting those rebounds and playing above the rim, just a little bit exciting. Okay, why are you talking like that? Because I want to be cool. Cool. <laughs> <laughs> okay, you heard it from Luke Fish, 6'11", Wiley Ellison. How are you? Uh, seven, eight. Not six, four. <laughs> but hey, you heard it from these two great guys. Marquette, Milwaukee, you should look out for these two. They, they're going to be great for our program. <laughs> the place is cleared out. You know, it's the last media day of my Marquette tenure. And, you know, it's a sad day, but it had to come sooner or later. So, but I enjoyed it. And enjoyed all the rest of them as well. So, this is the end. But check next week with the blog. On point, Derek Wilson.